Hi, Mr. President, again. He will entertain several questions from... Who is the first one to go? Ms. Chona Yu from Inquirer. Sir, sir, magandang umaga. Good morning. Mayroon pong lindol na nangyari kagabi. Ano po ang inyong direktiba sa ating mga uh, iba't ibang government offices at kayo po ba ay bibisita sa mga lugar yeah. na naapektuhan ng bagyo? Uh, yeah, I, I, nakuha ko yung mga last reports were at about uh, midnight last night. Um, ang intensity ng lindol was around 6, kahit malakas-lakas. Uh, at uh, the epicenter was uh, lower down, hindi kagaya nung na nasa Abra, pero doon na sa amin, sa Ilocos Sur and Ilocos Norte. Uh, but so the schools have, uh, have closed for the day hanggat uh, matiyak na lahat ng uh, mga school building ay safe para sa mga bata. Uh, so that was the first concern. Um, the, other concern the other concern right now is to make sure that power has come back. To Ilocos Norte, the power has come back. Uh, Ilocos Sur, the power has come back. I'm waiting for the report from Abra, but I think parts, the last I heard, the last the parts of the of Abra province uh, already have uh, power restored. So uh, we have uh, sent ang hinihingi ng karamihan ay tent. And the reason why is ayaw nilang natatakot silang bumalik sa bahay nila. Baka pag mag uh, aftershock, tapos mahina na yung bahay nila, tama, uh, masaktan sila. So that we're, con we're monitoring that we, we do not have a critical problem when it comes to food, maybe shelter. Uh, that, is, uh, that is the most uh, important uh, um, part of the re relief that we have to provide now for the the people affected by the earthquake last night. Thank you, Mr. President. Ms. Maricel Gahol of TV5. Hi, sir. Magandang umaga po. Sir, the family of Percy Lapid is concerned um, about the coat silence of, uh, of uh, Malacanang regarding the case, especially now that they are receiving death threats. So may we know if you have, or what are your fresh directives to the investigators following these concerns and criticisms? Well, we, I have been, <laughs> I have been monitor. I talked to, uh, I talked to DOJ Remulia and the ILG Apalos three, four, five times a day, and each time we talk about this. The, the, uh, the we do not have. Any particular directives, the police know what to do. Uh, I'll just get in the way. Alam ko, investigahan ninyo na mabuti. Alamin natin na mabuti kung sinong uh, behind this. Hanggang ngayon, di pa natin, di pa tayo nakakasiguro. Eh. So we're investigating. The toxicology report came back. Uh, and buka talagang uh, walang, ano, walang um, lason. Uh, o walang gamot na binigay dun sa namatay. Uh, so... But he, it, we still, I am still not satisfied that it was natural causes. So sabi ko, tignan niyo yun ang mabuti. Because there are ways to uh, kill a person that uh, do not show up uh, in the medical legal. So tuloy-tuloy pang investigation. But more importantly is to really trace saan nanggaling ito. Who gave the order? Uh, sino, yung, ba, ba, sino nagbigay dun sa preso na orderin ang shooter na gawin ito at bakit. That is what we are working on now. Salamat, sir. Ms. Kat Domingo from ABS-CBN. Mr. President, good morning. Several questions have been raised about uh, several appointees, particularly former police chief uh, Cascolan and also director Paul Soriano. May we know the wisdom behind these appointments and can you at least give us details of their um, respective mandates? Well, si General Cascolan, uh, we put him there because he has to look at, hindi naman siya, of course he's not a doctor and he's not, uh, it's not health issues that he has to look at. That's why he doesn't have to be a doctor. He's going to look at the function of the DOH. We talk about, uh, we talk about right sizing, we talk about structural changes. Yun, we need somebody to examine what, is, uh, what has been going on 
uh, ano yung maganda, ano yung hindi maganda, ano yung pwedeng mas maayos, uh, that, uh, uh, that will be his function, kaya special concerns. Uh, yung Kipol Suryano, people have misunderstood. He's not there to be part of the PR machine. He's there to find ways to promote the creative industry. Kasi doon siya galing. Eh. So, pinagmamalaki na, kasama yan sa tourism. Pinagmamalaki natin ang gagaling kumanta ng Pilipino, ang gagaling gumawa, umarte, ang gagaling gumawa ng sine, etc., etc. We have to project that to the rest of the world. Yan ang trabaho ni Paul. So, I hope that clarifies that. Thank you for, thank you for clarifying, sir. Just a follow-up question on General Cascolan. Do you have a direct order for the uh, former PNP chief to um, trace possible syndicates within the DOH, particularly when to, it comes... To, to, to create... To, to trace possible syndicates in the DOH, particularly in the procurement of several products, which we had some problems in the past. Well, uh, that, now that's part of his work. Uh, kung may lumabas na ganyan, he will have to report it to us and we will have to do something about it. Um, but generally, it is an administrative audit, if you want to call it that. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Sorry, Thank salamat. you, MPC.